everyone, it's Rachel, and in this video, I'll be showing you what we received in the Lucky Fortune Shaker Sophie and Toffee Elves box, as well as show you how to make a sweet themed kitty fortune shaker. If you would like to know more about these subscription boxes, I'll leave some info down in the description box below. So in this elves box, the items we received were these silicon molds, light pink and orange pigment dye, epoxy resin, three gold bells, candy drop sprinkles, six random pots of glitter assortments, thread, design film for the fortune molds, pastel beads, and also some holographic transfer film. So to begin, I took my kitty silicon mold as well as some brown acrylic paint, and I'm going to be using this to add the details into the mold, including the eyes, mouth, and the whiskers, and also the middle parts of the ears. I will just say now that this didn't actually work because the paint that I used was very cheap, and it did end up cracking, which you will see later on. For these first details on the cat, I'm going to be using my UV resin and I've also found a few different pigments including the ones that came in the box and then also some powdered pigments as well. I'm starting off by taking this brown powdered pigment and I'm mixing it into some of my UV resin and even though it is called brown, I feel like it's more of a pinkish kind of colour. But anyway, so this is the colour that I'm using for the bow at the bottom of the cat and I just poured this into the mould and I spread it around with my toothpick before then curing it under my UV light. Next, I'm going to be creating the pink patches of colour on the cat. So again, I'm using my UV resin and this time I'm using the pink liquid pigment that came in the box. And I also poured in a little bit of pink glitter as well. Once I had that all mixed up really nicely, I then poured it into the mould and I let it cure under my UV light. For the main body of the cat, I'm going to be using the two-part epoxy resin. So here you can see that I'm measuring out equal parts on my scales and I ended up measuring out 20 grams of each. So I had 40 grams of resin altogether and I did have a little bit left over, but I feel like that was a pretty good amount. I then mixed the two parts together really well using a popsicle stick and then I also popped in a few drops of my white pigment and I mixed them in before then pouring this resin into the mold all the way up to the top. Then because this is an epoxy resin that I'm using, I let this cure overnight for 24 hours. So here I'm demolding the piece after the resin has fully cured and you can see that the face didn't work out because of the paint. But once I did a few touch ups off camera, this is what it now looks like. I'm now moving on to the center part of the cat. So I'm going to be making the fortune shaker part of this design a donor so that it ends up being a sweets themed shaker cat. I mixed some of the orange pigment into some UV resin and then I cured this resin under my UV light and this is what it looks like. I then took some clear shaker film and I'm attaching this to the center of the donut using some UV resin and this is what is going to hold the little shaker pieces in. For the pieces that are actually going inside the fortune shaker, I'm deciding to make some jelly beans because I thought that would go really well with the sweets theme. So here I've mixed some white pigment into some UV resin and I'm placing that into the little jelly bean molds. For the main colors of the jelly beans, I'm going to be using some rainbow colored glitter. So I've prepared nine blobs of UV resin and then I'm just mixing in the glitter into each one. And it was just a matter of then adding the resin into the jelly bean molds and of course curing this under my UV light. So here I'm popping the jelly beans out of the mold and then because I want them to be fortune jelly beans, I then took some white acrylic paint and I'm just painting a little yes or no on the back of each jelly bean. And you can see that I've got them set up here just on some blue tack so that I can easily paint on the designs and they don't roll away. Once I had let my white acrylic paint dry, I then glazed over the jelly beans using some UV resin and just a brush so that it wouldn't scratch off when it was in the shaker. I then added the little jelly beans into the center of the piece and then I took some super glue and I'm just applying this around the outside parts before then attaching on the donut. It 
It was then time to add some decorations to the donut. So here I've got some brown puffy paint and I'm adding this onto the design as some chocolate frosting. And I also decided to add some onto each of the wings just to give it a little bit more detail. Finally, I took these little rainbow colored sprinkles and I'm placing them into the puffy paint using a pair of tweezers and then I'm just letting the puffy paint dry overnight. So here is what my sweets themed kitty fortune shaker ended up looking like. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.